Webhead's new comic book day is right around the corner. I'm here to remind you to don't forget to buy those comic books. Hey, yo, my webheads out there. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, I'm here to remind you to buy those comics. That's right, guys. New Comic Book Day is right around the corner, and I don't want you to miss out on those comic books. So before we get started, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell. And if you comment during this video, you will be entered to win in my Road to 10K X-Men giveaway, and you can win these fabulous X-Men prizes. So, without further ado, let's get started, guys. All right, guys, so we are kicking it off first with Black Hammer. This is Visions, Visions Issue 4 from Dark Horse Comics. Here we get to see the main cover here written by Marco Tamaki. This is a $4 book. And if you're looking for some variant covers here, there is a cover B done by Martin here. That's a pretty nice looking cover. And then we also have a cover C. This one is done by um, Chung. As he's entering in his realm here. Uh, was it Captain Strange or Captain Weird or whatever his name is? Pretty cool. Solid comic book universe there. All right. Next, with Dark Horse, we have Grendel Devil's Odyssey. This is issue six. Currently not reading the series. I don't think I will actually ever read it personally. But let me know if you guys enjoy it. Next, we do have a, a variant cover from this one. So that's a pretty nice looking cover. I like that one as well. So we move forward and we move forward to Alien or Resonant Alien. Okay, this is issue six. I guess it's a sci-fi like show. Never knew about that one. And then we have The Lost of Horizons or House of Lost Horizons. This is issue one. Okay, done by Mike Mignola. So that's pretty cool right there. So there are your Dark Horse comic books if you guys are interested in checking them out. All right, everyone. So moving on to IDW Publishing. We have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Last Ronin, Issue 3. Guys, man, what can I say about this series? It is absolutely phenomenal. You don't want to miss out on The Last Ronin. For some reason, I only have this cover that is listed, and I want to make sure that this book is coming out on May 12th, from as far as I know, based off of here it is, maybe it's delayed, maybe not, I'm not 100% sure, $9 price point, Tom Waltz is the writer, you guys gotta read this if you're not, but I don't know who isn't reading The Last Ronin. All right, next we move on to Kanto, this is The City of Giants, this is issue two, I know there's a lot of Kanto fans out there, $4 price point for this book. And then there's also a variance out there for it. So here is your variance cover. That's pretty cool. All right. And then moving forward, we have G.I. Joe, the real American hero. This is issue 281, right? Larry Hama is the writer for this particular series. I have not read a G.I. Joe book in a very long time. Any of you guys know if it's any good? All right. And then we... Do have a variant, but it's not shown. So for the kiddies out there, we have Marvel Action Spider-Man. This is issue two. Cool cover as you get to see Scorpion versus Spider-Man in a game of basketball. This is also a $4 book. All right. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, the 2021 annual $6 comic book. If you guys are bronies out there, let me know. <laughs> uh, is there a variant for this one? Let's find out. No, it's not shown. Here is a creepy comic, Sea of Sorrows, issue 5. Interesting cover here as we get to see this creature going through her door. That's pretty cool. $4 comic book as well. If you're looking for a variant, here is your variant. This one in 25 incentive. Okay, so next we move on. We have Sonic the Hedgehog. This is 39 Nice cover there. $4 comic. Evan Stanley is the writer. We do have a couple variants, but they're not available as well. 
If you're looking for the comic book history of animation, this is issue 5 or part 5 and anime conquers the world. So it looks like it's about the world of anime. So that could be a lot of fun. And this is a $4 comic. All right. Moving forward, we have Transformers The Escape. This is issue four. Uh, I love Transformers, but their comics are just not that good to me. They're so wordy. I wish I would like them more, but I just don't, and it goes over my head. But if you're interested, $4 comic. All right, so let's move forward here, and that is your AWA, I'm sorry, IDW comic books. All right, guys, so moving forward now, due to technical issues with this particular app, I can't seem to bring up Batman Urban Legends Issue 3, but that is coming out uh, as well on May 12th, along with the Joker Issue 3. We have the David Finch Variant Edition. We have the Gary Frank variant edition and we have the neil adams variant edition so those books for some reason would not pop up but as i move forward here we do get the batman the detective issue two uh, we have the cardstock variant edition popping up on this particular issue here this one is five dollars tom taylor's the writer um okay series for me not the best i might continue to read it all right next going forward we have Challenge of the Super Sons. We have the cardstock variants for this particular one. Peter J. Tomasi. This is $5 because it is the variant as well. Okay. Then we have the DC Festival of Heroes. The Asian Superhero Celebration. This is the one in 25. Monkey Prince. Don't know who that character is. Is this a new character? This one is done by Craig Pack. Uh, Jing Lu Yang, Amy Chu, Ram V, Alyssa Wong. The list goes on and on. The price point for this book is $10. Okay, next we have the um, other variants here, as it's done by Art Germ, as you get to see Cassandra Kane on this cover. Gorgeous looking cover. Probably will get this book just for this cover myself. All right, and next we have Future State Gotham. We have this cover right here. This is a cardstock variant for this particular series. This one is $5. Joshua Williamson is the writer. And then we have Justice League The Last Ride. This is the cardstock variant edition for this. Uh, Chip Sardarsky is the writer for this particular series. I might check this one out. Not 100% sure, but we'll see. And next we have the Rorschach. Issue 8 Variant Edition. This looks like the main cover to me. Maybe not. I could be wrong. But that's kind of cool. Not into the character. Alright, next we have Superman Issue 31. In Huck Lee, I think, does the cover for this one. So that's pretty cool. And then we have Wonder Woman Issue 772, the cardstock variant. That's kind of creepy if you ask me. <laughs> and so this one is $5. And there are your DC comic books, at least the variants anyway. All right, guys. So we're moving on to Image Comics. This is Jeff Johns Geiger issue two. I was kind of a fan of the first one. Love the character. I want to know more about him. So that is your main cover here. This one is $3.99. However, if you're looking for your variants, you do have quite a few of them. Here is your cover B, which is a pretty nice looking cover. All right. And then you have your cover C, which is my favorite of the bunch. I love how he's got this explosion in the background and then you get to see these dogs or his dog, I guess. <laughs> right. And then you have, let's see, you have this cover D. Not probably my least favorite of the bunch. Okay, so you have that one there. And then I think I skipped this one. Did I skip this one? I don't even remember. Where he's beating the crap out of people. So there's that one. All right. So next, moving forward here, we have the Ice Cream Man. This is issue 24. You got to love the cover. Telethon. Stay up late. Save some guy's life. Live, exciting, in-person music and entertainment. 
$4 comic book. Many variants for this one. There are 15 of them. So we're going to take a quick look at that. There's your variant A. Okay, here's your variant B, which actually looks pretty much the same. Going forward, we have your variants here. That's kind of creepy. Look at a big mouth. All right, so we have that. We have Christopher Bust variant. Very simplistic. We have cover B Terrell. Very watercolored like. Very creepy ice cream cone. We have this one here. Ice cream oozing out of his skull. This one is your black and white. Then we have this crazy Javier Antunes variant A. Oh my God. That is just disturbing. All right. Then you have one that's just like it, except with a black background. Then you have this one with just an ice cream with a skull on it. And then we have John Gallagher variant, which is my, this one's my favorite. I love this one. That is so cool, dude. Then you have this disturbing monstrosity, whatever that is. <laughs> oh my God. And then you have this where he's dancing with some skeleton woman. I don't know what's going on there. Okay. And then you got alternate color Trinity Comics Virgin exclusive. So that's exclusive cover right there. And then you got the other version of that. So those are all the variants for the Ice Cream Man. That's probably like most of their comics for the week right there. Next we have Carmen Issue 3. Totally not into this comic book. However, this one is $4. Writer and artist Gulliam March. Um, just a different type of book. Just not my cup of tea. But here we can check out your cover B, which is a black and white incentive cover. So we have that going on there. And then we have your cover C1 and 50. So there's your covers for Carmen. Oh, we got one more. So we have that one there too. So you can check those out. Next, we move on to the Silver Coin. This is issue two. Very awesome book. First one was written by Chip Sardarsky. This one is going to be written by Kelly Thompson. This is not a lucky coin. This is an unlucky coin. So you don't want possession of this <laughs> $4 comic book. And we have a variant cover. There you have it right there, guys. All right. Next, we have Time Before Time, Issue 1. Brand new, if you're looking for a different type of story, has to deal with time travel, and it takes place in the future. $4 comic book. We have two variants on this one. So we have the 1 in 25. And then we have the cover B by Leon. Okay, cover. And then we move on to home issue 1. The second printing. Didn't know there was a first printing. So we got that going on. $4. Then we have the Department of Truth. Issue 1. Fifth printing of this book. So if you want to jump on. James Tynion the fourth book here. Check it out now. In it's fifth printing. And that is all your image comics. All right, everyone. So now we're moving on to Boom Studios. This is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, issue 25. Never been a huge Buffy fan. How many of you are collecting this book right now? This book is $5. And this one also has quite a few variants. It's got about six of them. So here's one. <laughs> That's actually a cool variant. I like that one. All right. And then here is the next one. Cover C. Okay, then you have the Virgin, 1 in 10, so we got that, and then you have the cover D, 1 in 25, which is actually a really nice looking cover there, I like that one, and then if you want your blank cover, you always have your blank one, 
you could get your own art done on it. So pretty cool right there. Then we move on to Firefly, a brand new verse. This is issue three. So there's your main cover right there. And if you're into Firefly and you want to collect the variants for this one, we do have this one in 25. Okay. We do have cover B. And we have cover D, one in 50. Cover E, one per store, which looks like the main cover. All right, and then this cover F is one per store too. What's different about it? I don't even know. Oh well, whatever. Let's move on. We got the Magic, the Gathering. This is issue two. Were you guys a fan of issue one? Jed McKay's the writer. This is a $5 comic book. And uh, this one definitely has its variants as well. If you're into uh, picking them up, Let's check out what we have for them. So we have a 1 in 10. Pretty cool. All right. We have a 1 in 25. We have a 1 in 100. We have a cover H, one per store. So it's like the main cover except black and white. All right. And that's it. So then we move on to the Mighty Morphin, issue seven, as you have Lord Zed approaching Zordon. That's pretty awesome right there. Love that. $4 book. Ryan Perot is the writer here. Um, so we move on. And then we have our variants in here. So you have the Virgin. Okay. And then you have the one in 15. So that's pretty cool. You have your black, your blank. And then you have your Red Ranger. And then you have the Yellow Ranger. Which is cool. And then we move on and we have Mighty Morphin cover B Carlini legacy variant as it has the old logo on there and everything. So that's pretty cool too. All right. And then we have the cover F one in 25. All right. And then we have Proctor Valley road issue three. What is going on here? Big monster. <laughs> <laughs> just going after a police car written by Grant Morrison. I should have figured. And it's $4. So that's interesting there. So let's see what we have for variants on this one. We have the Ward Incentive variant. We have this one. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. Wow. And then we have this cover D. Some weird covers, man. And then we have this cover E1 per store. All right. So that is that title. Next, we have Seven Secrets, which will not show up on here. But Seven Secrets is... Yep, it's not coming up. So Seven Secrets, written by Tom Taylor, is being released as well. It does have a different couple different covers out there and that is all your boom studio comic books all right guys so now we move on to dynamite and for some re for some reason red sonia is not popping up here um red sonia the superpowers issue five is getting ready to come out uh, it has a billion variant covers on here as you get to see them as i scroll down not all of them are posted uh, but this book is a four dollar uh, comic book at least the main cover anyway but you can see again all the different covers that are being released as i scroll down though we do move on to vampirella and purgatory issue three that is being released what a gorgeous cover so let's check out some of the variants to this this is a four dollar comic ray fox is the writer so let's check out this one right here so another nice looking cover here Obviously, this is what they are famous for, is these very sexualized covers. 
So that's pretty interesting right there. Let's see if we have more variants. Yes, we do. So here, let's check out this one there. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool one right there with them fighting each other. And if you're into black and white covers, we have this black and white cover as well. All right, another black and white. So we got that. Let's see, we saw this one already. Yeah, we did see that one. I think that one just has the logo on it. This is an interesting cover. Look at this one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then we got these ones are really nice. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Really good looking cover there. Another good one there. A lot of red in that one. You almost get too much red. And then we have Vampirella there. That's a gorgeous cover too. Look at all the bats in the background. Really cool. I guess this is another version of the same color or cover. Yep. And then we have just a colored one. That's nice too with both characters on there. And let's see. And then that's all of that. And that is your Dynamites. Two books with like a thousand covers. Right. All right, guys. So last but not least, we have Black Cat issue six. And these are all the Marvel books that are being released for May 12th. So again, buy those comics. You don't want to miss out. Here is Black Cat issue six. Great story right now. Jed McKay, the writer. This is a four dollar comic book. OK, if you're looking for a variant, I can't show you one. Next, we move on to Black Panther. This is issue 25, Wakanda Unbound Part 7. So I think this is the final issue, and this is a $6 comic book. How many of you guys were reading Black Panther out there? Let me know in the comments below. All right. Next, we have Children of the Atom. This is issue 3. This could be my last time on Children of the Atom. We'll see what happens. This is a $4 comic. And this does have a variant. So let's check out the variant here. 1 in 25 Chang variant. Okay. Next, we move on to Conan the Barbarian. This is issue 21. Legacy numbering 296. This is a $4 comic written by Jim Zub. This does have... Uh, one variant to it as well. So let's check that one out. A 1 in 25. So pretty cool. Alright, and next we move on to the Fantastic Four. This is issue 32. This is the wedding you've been waiting for. Doctor Doom actually gets married in this issue. Legacy numbering 677. This is a $5 comic book. So pretty cool. Let's check out our variants. So we have a 1 in 25 wraparound. We have a 1 in 50 hidden gem Kirby. We have a Fantastic Four issue 32 Momoko. We have a Fantastic Four uh, 32 Ron Lim. And then we have the Predator variant, which is actually none of these Predator, Predator variants are coming out. So if it's advertised going forward still on here, I won't show it. So there are your fantastic. Oh, there's one more here. And there is a Scotty Young variant as well. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, next we move on to Giant Size Amazing Spider-Man King's Ransom issue one. Here is your main cover. Uh, this book is continued in Amazing Spider-Man issue 66. This is a $6 book, obviously written by Nick Spencer. All right, so we do have a variant, which is actually a really cool variant. I like this one as he's web swinging through the sky. All right, so next we have Guardians of the Galaxy. This is issue 14. Nice, as we get to see Doctor Doom entering this series, which I'm really looking forward to. Legacy numbering 176, $4 comic. We do have a couple variants on this one. 
I don't know what's happening with this variant. That's just weird to me. All right, so we got that. And then we have the Sprouse Predator variant, which accidentally showed you again. So that is not out. They're just still posted on here. Next, we move on to Heroes Reborn, issue two. Now, I heard issue one has been doing pretty good. People have been digging the Heroes Reborn. Jason Aaron could redeem himself here, right? So here we have quite a few variants. We have the one in 25. Okay. We do have the one in 50. So we got that one there. We have the Bagley trading card variant, which I really enjoy these. These are really nice. Okay. And we have the Christopher Action figure. So that one's pretty cool. I like when they do those with a Power Princess on there. Okay. And then you have <coughs> Hyperion and the Imperial Guard. This is issue one. So this is your tie-in. $5. Ryan Caddy is the writer here. Okay. Heroes Reborn. Peter Parker, the amazing Shutterbug. So this is the only one I think I'm going to get of these tie-ins. This is also $5. We'll see what this has to offer. He looks like he's just a reporter, not a um, Spider-Man. But, oh, they're not showing. I thought there was a variant to this. I thought there is. They're not having it on here. Uh, next is Silk Issue 3. This is a $4 comic, legacy numbering 29. Okay, series, not the best, but I'm still reading it. Here's your variants here, the one in 25. Kill new variant A. And Kale new variant B. Okay. Next, we move on to Spider-Man Spider Shadow. Oh, don't tell me it's not going to show it. So it's not going to show Spider-Man Spider, Spider Shadow. That is definitely coming out. There's the main cover, and then there's this one in 25 where Spider-Man is on Kingpin's head. So let's see if we can get Spider-Woman. Spider-Woman issue 12. Pretty good series. Her fiancé, or actually her boyfriend, Roger, a.k.a. Porcupine, wants to propose and she's just too busy to realize this right legacy numbering 107 four dollar comic definitely recommend this book it's a fun read for sure and then we have a legacy nope no we don't because it says predator on there so we're not going to even show it star wars issue 13 war of the bounty hunters tie-in four dollar book written by charles soul Okay, six variants for this. Here's your one in 25. Luke on there. Okay, and we have your action figure variant. We have your Mike Mayhew variant A. And we have your Mike Mayhew variant B. All right, then we have your Crimson Variant. Fancy Crimson, huh? All right, Empire Strikes Back Variant. That's pretty cool as she sees like in her mind that Luke is in trouble from Empire Strikes Back. That's cool. Then we have the High Republic, Issue 5 which I'm currently not reading anymore. I just completely lost interest. I couldn't get to attach to any of the characters. And this one does have six variants, so let's check them out. <laughs> That's a cool one. All right, and then we have Mike Mayhew variant. That's a nice cover. That is gorgeous, actually. Variant B. Variant C, 
This is like it takes place in nighttime for some reason. All right, and then you have the Phil Noto, another nice looking cover. I like their lightsabers, it's pretty cool. And then you got your Virgin. Okay, then we move on to X Corp. This is issue one. How many of you guys are going to be buying this for this particular week? Did you forget it was coming out? Don't forget, you got to buy those comics, guys. Five dollars, Teeny Howard is the writer. We have four variants for this one. So we have this one with the drugs on it. I actually like that one. It's kind of cool. And then we have the Schmidt variant. So that's cool. <laughs> and then we have this one with Angel's head. That's kind of creepy. I don't know. I would never get that one. And then we have Scotty Young variant. Which there's a lot of dialogue in there. So let's see what he says there. And then we have X Factor issue 9. Right. Not reading this at all. Have no idea what's going on. There's your three variants. You got your Polaris, which is gorgeous. And then you got the Virgin. And then you got your Dazzler. It's like Peace Man <laughs> with her roller skates. Then you have Avengers Curse of the Man Thing number one, second printing, Gleason variant. Surprise, this actually made a second printing. And Gleason is doing this variant. That's very odd. I did not expect that to come out. That's interesting, right? Then we have Better Ray Bill second printing, one in 25. Stegman. That is gorgeous. I love that. I think I got the first one. And then, last but not least, we have Better Ray Bill number one second printing Johnson variant. So we got that one as well. And there are all your Marvel books. All right, Webhead, so there's your reminder to go buy those comic books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this new series. Tell me what you thought in the comments below. And until next time, I'll leave you more content right here to check out. And guys, as always, enjoy those comics, and thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.